So Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, issue number zero. And before uh, I jump into this, you may have noticed that there was no video released yesterday. The reason for that is because real life has been getting pretty busy lately, so I really don't have the free time to be reviewing and editing two videos a day like I usually do. So I don't even have the time to be releasing one video a day. So for, uh, for the time being, I'm going to be trying to release at least once one video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So three videos a week. Sorry about that. I would like to do more. But like I said, uh, real life has just been getting really busy. So maybe once everything has like, you know, simmered down, I'll be able to pump out the two videos every, every day, Monday through Friday. But until then, yeah, every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday, I'll try to get at least one video up. So because of that, originally I was going to do Astonishing X-Men issue number two. But then I figured, you know what, if I'm only going to be releasing three videos a week, why not release videos on new series that I'm reading rather than um, like, you know, just the same series over and over again, just brand new issues. So that's why I'm not reviewing that, but I have read it and it is good. I was going to do Dark Metal, but I figure a lot of other people are already doing Dark Metal. And I kind of want to wait at least maybe until the next issue before I do Dark Metal, just so I have more to talk about. But uh, yes, I have read Dark Metal, and yes, it is really good. I am uh, very much looking forward to this new event. Uh, I think DC has been doing a great job with their events, way better than, uh, than Marvel has. So yeah, those were the views I was going to do, but because of this whole you know schedule change, instead I'm going to do... Uh, a completely different series, maybe one that not that many people have talked about. So, Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. So, it's by Dynamite Comics, and I'm just going to read the little intro right here. So, deep in the heart of the Amazon, Sheena acts as guardian and protector, defending her home from any threats that might dare present themselves. Without warning, the delicate balance of Sheena's world is shattered forever by the arrival of an outside force greedy to get his hands on the ancient secrets the forest holds. Now Sheena must protect her home from a menace unlike anything she's ever faced before. One threatening to tear the forest apart from the outside. Sounds kind of ominous. So we start off in the Amazon where Sheena is just kind of saying like, to survive you gotta be strong, you gotta be silent, you gotta be swift. You must recognize every sense. When you let your guard down, when you forget these things, that is when Mother Forest does not forgive. That is when I do not forgive. And we get this pretty cool uh, action pose that introduces our female character. I actually don't mind the art. I style that so it's pretty interesting. I mean, it's not like the greatest thing in the world, but I like it. It works. So Sheena spots a drone, which she refers to as a flying turtle. And she says it's a tool of the Kawadi, which means uh, outsiders in her language. So she shoots it with her arrow. And unfortunately for her, the drone crashes at a temple, which is forbidden ground. Like no one is allowed to be on there. Not even uh, Sheena is allowed to trespass on that area. But she doesn't know if the drone is destroyed or not, and she doesn't want anyone, especially outsiders, to be spying on the forbidden ground. So she unfortunately has to break the law so that she can get the drone and, you know, get it out of the temple. So she's walking through, she discovers a uh, camera, and as she's looking through it, she kind of gets like, almost like a memory flash of this woman with glasses and this older gentleman. I'm kind of going into the impression that maybe they were her parents. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really know all that much about Sheena. Like, I haven't really read any previous stuff with her. I've heard of the character before, this isn't the first time I've heard of her. But I haven't really seen anything of her. I kind of just got the gist that she's almost like a female Tarzan, kind of. She feels like one of those throwbacks to, um, like, pulp heroes from, like, the 40s and stuff. Like, all the, uh, the jungle boys and jungle girls. Uh, that they used to have. So we get like cool uh, little like Indiana Jones type moments where she's like exploring the temple and she's um, triggering off traps. Like one of them, like the uh, like these uh, poisonous vines come to life and try to attack her, but she's able to fight them off. At first she kind of thinks that maybe it has to do with uh, like they want the camera, so she chucks it at it. And then she discovers a drone hanging from like the ceiling. So she goes and she grabs it. And as she comes down, the... Uh, Vines that continue to attack her, but she's able to fight them off 
And she grabs one of the vines and she wraps it around a pillar and she pulls the pillar down. So I'm assuming she also has amazing strength. Like earlier, we can kind of see her communicating with animals. Like not really having a conversation, but they seem to understand her. And they also don't attack her. Like even the panthers and stuff like that leave her alone. You know what? I also kind of liked how the fact that she is... Like they drew muscles on her, but she's still very feminine. Like this is a woman who is in shape. She's muscular, but there's still enough curves and softness to give her like this feminine look. So I really like it. Like they're not completely masculizing her. Like they're not do pulling off the uh, the Michelangelo effect like Marvel has been doing with like most of their female characters. Like this is how you draw a muscular woman. You give them tone, you give them definition, but you also give them some softness and you give them curves. So, really nice job from Dynamite. So anyways, uh, she uh, uses a vine to wrap around the pillar, pulls it down, and basically bars the entrance to the temple. And she basically just takes the uh, drone that she has, and she breaks it in half, and then she rushes back to her village. And as she does so, she misses a final drone that's flying in the air, watching the whole thing. And then we cut to uh, a university where we see uh, we see some student eating some uh, ramen noodles, and he's kind of like, what the hell did I just watch? So I kind of have a feeling that basically he's going to share this footage, and then uh, Sheena's going to have to deal with a lot of outsiders that are going to start coming in. So yeah, that's Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. I know this is kind of like a short video, but again, this was a short issue. I don't know, what do you guys think? Did you Have you guys seen it? Like I said, I thought it was, it was okay. Um, I'm just glad that they... Don't, so far, I mean, it's just one issue, and it's not like a, a complete full issue. So only like, you know, issue zeros tend to be like 15 pages. Like they tend to be half the size of a regular issue. But I'm glad that so far they don't seem to be like, you know, feminist bullshit. There doesn't seem, they're not like completely masculizing the character. Like they're, they're doing, they have a good job of having a sexy character without like shoving a bunch of fan service in your face. Like, there's not a bunch of, like, gratuitous ass shots or anything like that. Drawing is decent. Everything about this is pretty good. Like, I, like again, nothing great, nothing perfect, but good. I would give this, like, a solid B if I was to grade this. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, next video will probably be on Friday. So, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will be doing a comic video. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.